Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. FIFA 22 is here. Well, the trial version that you can play for 10 hours when you have EA Play. It's 99 cents, so perfect time to test it out. I, of course, bought Enzam, played a couple of games with him. He's uh, still pretty amazing. Too bad he didn't get an upgrade. Fuck you, EA. He deserved one. This is a team that I've been using so far. Uh, I've used Onowachu before I uh, bought Benito Raman, just because I want to see if uh, big strikers are good this year. Because normally they weren't that good. This is a game that I played. This is my opponent's team. A lot better than mine. And as you can see in this clip. Pace is important. But not as important as it was in uh, some other FIFAs. Someone like Amuzu. 5 star weak foot of course. It's very easy to score a goal with him. But then this. People say that skill moves are uh, nerfed. And I can see why. But if you use them cleverly like this. You can still make goals. This year the, the gameplay is a lot slower than it was last year, so you need to think about uh, the build-up and such. And uh, the keepers have a lot more animations this year. I end up winning this game 2-1. And the very nice thing that after a game you can see uh, much more in detail stats. Which is very nice because you used to see like basic things. But now they're much more in depth, very nice for people who love stats. Yes, I'm looking at you brother. So, uh, very, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna show you a bit more gameplay uh, because I played a ton of games. Because I'm gonna spend the 10 hours playing. So, uh, let's get into the second game. Second opponent has a, a very cool looking Premier League team. He's going to make some substitutions early on to sub off the players with no pace. And this is what I mean with slow build up. I'm just trying to play out from the back, which I've always done in past FIFAs. So for me, I don't really have to change much about the way I'm playing. This is a great goal from Mangalam, by the way. So, but the game is much more close, but you can still outrun people like this. Like in previous FIFAs. As you can see, his defenders can almost catch up, but of course not. Because Isak is a very good player, very good substitution. Would recommend getting him. So we win the second game too. Uh, like I said, the games are, are much slower, so there's... L less happening you think but it's actually much more fun for me to play like this as you can see i love the stats but i'm going to show you gameplay for one more game and then i'm going to well basically have a conclusion and the final game is the best opponent i've come across this year so far uh, some people have all the pack luck or they spent a ton of cash on fifa points again calm football he thinks I'm playing the pass, I don't, and I score with a Brian Heine. And that's what I love about this FIFA, there's so many different ways to score. Of course there are the outside of the box finesse shots, which are a bit OP, but I've only conceded them from players where I think, okay, that can happen. And like the goal he scores here, it's just bad defending for me, but he uses pace and quick passing to get him, uh, past me, so no problems there. I've been really enjoying this game. I think the reward structures in Division Rivals is a bit weird. Uh, but they can change that. So I don't know if they're going to do it. Taliska, very good super sub too. But for the rest, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I just hope they don't ruin it with the first patch. Because that's mostly... Uh, FIFA comes out. Uh, people complain on the internet. But I saw Reddit being very positive. Which is uh, good to see that the people are enjoying this. Uh, so I hope that they don't patch it like they did with every other FIFA, like the first patch most of the time completely changes the game uh, for worse or, or better. I'm not going to even com comment on that. Sometimes they change things that were obviously broken. But so far I haven't really encountered anything that was too OP or too broken or that actually needs a nerf or a, a, uh, a buff. So I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping that they keep this game and then I'm very, very happy. And then of course I hope that a lot of my favorite players, mostly pro, pro league players, are getting informed so they can make nice videos about them in Unsung Hero. Because yes, obviously Unsung Hero is coming back. I don't know in which format uh, I'm going to do it. Maybe uh, something a bit different than I've done uh, in the past few years. But it will definitely come back in, in, in some way, shape or form. But that's going to be all for this first FIFA video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.